Big it. Big it. Big, big, big. Yep, that's what we're doing. Good morning. We're watching a little Bassmaster Live, Lake Champlain. Today is Monday, guys, and we are uh, we're not in the finals. No, because we we uh, we made the semifinal round, which was a blessing. We had some issues yesterday. And some uh, keeping them buttoned up issues. Careful now. We're here in uh, doesn't look all that beautiful, but this is beautiful Clayton, New York. We're here uh, getting ready to start practice tomorrow. You know, normally we do a travel vlog, but this, we had back-to-back -back tournaments, so the travel vlog, this is uh, really not really much of a travel. It's more like a hangout with us today. It's, it's a hangout with Matt today video. That's what it is, instead of a travel. That's right. You get to do... I mean, what is there more fun than that? I know. We're going to go grab some breakfast right now. Uh, we're going to go wash the funk off my boat, because it's got some funk on it. Matt, hey. I'm, I'm giving him the dang trophy, dude. He had it. No, no, I'm giving it back. Oh, I thought you said Matt. He's back where he belongs. You had it. <laughs> back where he belongs. I'm a little bass guy, see? And That'd you know what? That. That's fitting. This one's fitting because it's that a is large a largemouth. Yeah. And we're on a smallmouth tournament. But you right. won it with largemouth. That's right. Had 19 something with largemouth yesterday. Mm. It's pretty dang good. I'm going to put it in long. my room because I ain't going to get to Yeah, it. I know. Man, I, I tell you, yeah, yeah, day three video is actually a pretty good video to watch. Uh, we put a camera up. McCoy went with, with Canterbury and Dylan was with me, so we had some really good footage. He he cracked largemouth. He had the biggest did he catch the biggest largemouth bag of the tournament? I think he did. That was all five largemouth? Yeah, I think so. Probably. Yeah. There was he did. Some, there was some twenty pound mix bags, but Yeah, because Christy had twenty one, but he had half smallmouth. Three he had three largemouth. Yeah. It looks like it's six feet long. No, it ain't. <laughs> <laughs> That's just my ears. It looks not look like a six feet long. It looks like it's that big around though. It's way giant. I mean, it's a 20 pound walleye, ain't it? No. <laughs> what are you thinking? <laughs> it ain't that big. It might be like 12 or so. I caught one on Carolina in the, in the USA deal and uh, in, uh, the paint end we did in Canada. Yeah. In the tournament on a Carolina rig. Um, a what? A musket. On a Carolina rig. On a Carolina rig on film. That big. You landed it? Yes. And then we caught another one in practice. We were a hundred pounder? A hundred pounder. Yeah. We were reeling it in. That's amazing. A amazing. Dude, we had a four pound like, I mean, that one's close to a hundred. hundred big. I didn't know what. <laughs> was it 75? Uh, like 40? Yeah, 40 pounds. Nice. Look at half of it. Dude. I thought it was 40, and he could eat her. You think that's a magnifying glass or something up there to eat? <laughs> <laughs> so my dad, so back in the 70s, in the 70s, the fishing here was good, but not like it is now. The smallmouth were just regular smallmouth. They weren't the big smallmouth. The gobies weren't here yet. The zebra mussels and all that stuff hadn't happened. So you could go catch like 14 pound bag of smallmouth, but you catch a 16, 17 pound bag of largemouth. So largemouth won all the tournaments. So it was the Bassmasters back late 60s, early 70s. Dad took off out of Clayton, ran his boat down the river, and he was leading. It was the last day of the tournament. He had a rock pile in Lake of the Isle that, that he won. That he was winning the tournament off of. And it was a first thing in the morning deal. You catch all those fish. Large mouth. Yeah, large mouth. He had a pretty good lead. And, 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 and so there, the camera boat guy was following him, and my dad outran the camera boat, didn't slow down, and weaved around and got all back in there and got set up on the spot. And my dad pulled up the, the rock pile and cast it out and caught like 20 pounds of bass pretty quick. And then let my, my dad said, here, uh, his, his, uh, boater, his other boater was in the boat, and my dad said, hey, go ahead, I'm done fishing, I'm on the tournament. For sure, so you go ahead up there and fish. So that guy sat there for like an hour and caught a bunch of fish one after another until they stopped biting. About that time, the camera boat guy pulled up. He said, my gosh, we've been looking for you for two hours. And they didn't have GPSs or none of that back then. And, the, and my dad was in the back of the boat drinking coffee. They said, man, we really need to get some footage of you catching these fish for the, for the TV show and for, for photos and stuff. 
and he's like, all right. Well, he gets back on the front of the boat and tries to catch a, a fish, and he's, they're not biting. They're, they're done. So he sits there for like 30 minutes, and like nothing, nothing, nothing. And they're like, man, we really would like to have a couple of those, like a big fish, like for wind moment type thing. And he goes, well, hang on a minute. He goes back to the live well, pulls out a four pounder, dude, no, 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 no. hooks it on. Let's it swim out there, and he goes, all right, turn your cameras on here, get ready. Oh, there he is, got him on. Classic television yeah. photo shot. He did a two or three of them that way. They're like, no, 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 look at that. What happens if he gets off? He's like, ah, I'll be all right. Oh, I thought you were going to say he did get off. No, he didn't get off. Well, I he thought he got off. He blew it away, though. He right? blew it away. He would have won it. Yeah, him. I mean, if it had been close, he would have done it. But he had a big lead already. But, yeah, he, 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 he so whatever, wherever that footage is of the St. Lawrence River Tournament, I think those fish that he caught, yeah, or 70s, whatever fish he caught on film or wherever that film is, I think those are like staged, like recaught fish. That's awesome. <laughs> Won the tournament. All right, that was a really good breakfast spot. But if you're in Clayton, stop at Coffee Cove. That's that little spot right there. Obviously, great coffee. But their uh, their omelets, even Matt said it, omelet best omelet he's ever had. I'm not a big omelet guy, and that was the best omelet I've ever had. So, Coffee Cove here in Clayton, New York. That is your breakfast spot. All right. We gotta wash the funk off the boat. We gotta wash the funk off the truck. St. Lawrence River. Hollywood's got his own master bedroom, own bathroom. We got some no tear toilet paper. <laughs> We're fixing to fix him up. <laughs> no tear toilet paper. We're gonna see what he thinks about this. Put a little bit in this bottom drawer so nobody's got to bring him none. I mean, I'm okay if they're separate, but when they're like... Dude, he's catching back big to time. Back, like a That's crazy. Did he just catch another big one? Koya has caught like, like 30 or something today. Ooh. Ooh, Smith's lost a couple of breeds. What's the matter? Come on the bathroom. I'll be back. Weather Channel has it at 5 to 10. For Clayton, though. Yeah. Yeah. So that doesn't matter. Bass Forecast has it blowing still, which I checked that. Bass Forecast, the app. You know how they have lake effect snow? I think it's kind of like lake wind. I yeah, think the wind creates its own. 100% it's got all that space. I don't know. I'm not a meteorologist, but. Clayton, 77. 
Just for Thursday? Oh, it's for today. Let me go to Thursday. Thursday. Temperatures are dipping down a little bit. Mm -hmm. Wind is uh, early in the morning, 7 a.m. Southwest. Let's see, Bass Forecast has it actually. Now at 1 o'clock, it goes up to 10 and 11. It does creep up in here later in the, in the afternoon now. But that's later. We'll be up the water by then. That's at 3 to 4 o'clock. Yeah, no, that's at night. So at night it blows. I think we're good. What about the weather other than the wind? A little rain. And if you need a tip, by the way, it says a uh, drop shot's good. <laughs> Bass forecast giving you tips now, huh? It does. A bladed jig, which we know is good here. Wacky rig. These are all look. So here's the suggestions. If you were new to fishing, right? If you had nothing, if you had no idea, you just came up here. You're like, I, I don't. I want to go fishing today. Mm -hmm. This is the top five baits to try. Bladed Side jig. Marks. Yeah. Soft jerk bait. Bladed jig. Wacky rig. Swim bait. Drop shot. Ned head. I just happen to have all those tied on. Yeah. Exactly. And you're a professional. All right, we got two days to figure this place out. I guess we better get going. Yeah, this started barely crack daylight, boys. Right now, it's well. Well, I mean, well you know we what I like, you don't like water about right today because you, you know, can be on the water 50, thirty minutes right. before daylight. You know what I like about today? What's that? Is that Matt can't leave until I leave? Yes. <laughs> Where's your keys? <laughs> that thing he was all just... over stuttering there. <laughs> Two days of practice. Two days of practice to figure out how to win this thing. That's right. Big, the way to win is cut the big small one. Four pounds and up only. Three and a half pounders, no good. Alright guys, we're here. Clayton, New York, St. Lawrence River. This place is unbelievable. The smallmouth fishing is probably the best on earth, so uh, you know, we're only going to get two days of practice this week. The wind's supposed to blow, but I like fishing the lake. I think I'm going to spend my time on the lake. Day one of practice. I'm getting out here on the lake right now. We're fixing to see if we can find them. Uh, we'll see how it goes. After today, I may change and spend a day in the river just for a safety, a backup plan in case we can't get out there with the wind the way it's supposed to be. But uh, right now, we're fixing to send it out to the big lake and uh, hopefully land on one of those mega schools. You can do that and anybody can win this tournament. It's going to be fun. It's going to be exciting, guys. Long day. We're going to put 15 hours in on the water. We've only got two days of practice, so you know we're here at the St. Lawrence. We're on Lake Ontario today. We just left Champlain. It's the last tournament of the season. This is where everything counts. So where we're currently situation, current situation is, we gotta win this tournament. <clears throat> and I and I say that a lot, right? I say that like we would like to win the tournament. We have to win this tournament. We put ourselves in a in an uncomfortable position. We're outside of the classic line. We gotta win the tournament. And to do that, we need to find something out here on the lake, I, I believe. That's kind of uh, my thought. This is probably the toughest one to try to win because it's the largest playing field. We got Lake Ontario and the river. You're fishing against the Canadian boys, which know this place. This is their home lake. And they're gonna they're gonna catch them. So I've gotta find something special. I can't just find the normal, hey, oh hey, there's a, a point right over here that's got a bunch of fish on it. That's not gonna win the tournament. I've gotta find something out here on the lake that might get overlooked. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna spend two days of practice out here. That's all we get because at Champlain we got a day cut short due to weather. And now um, we only got our two days of practice here. We had a reduced practice. So 15 hours of hard work. That's what we have to get done. Let's figure out how to win this thing.
want to, I, like, I've never stopped here before, but there's, it just looks good. It's just a point. I don't know. And there's a bird, a couple birds, so that means there's bait here. I've, I don't know anything about this spot, but I'm just going to just, just look around for a second. Yeah. It's just, uh, it's like, here's what's interesting. When you look at this, see, like, see how that, those contours make that point right there? Right. That's interesting, right? There's no more. There's no more, like this is where they get here. Let's catch them here. But look, if, if any fish are coming in or out, like that's a fish on a rock right there. Th this is a little, that's an entry, that's a stopping point. It just takes a minute to find them, you know? Like the, the audio and stuff. Um, are we going to replace, are we going to post that the morning of the tournament? Oh, get ready. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Look, there's seven, there's three or four of them right there. Look at them, look at them coming up. They're coming up, they're coming up, they're coming up. All right, we got to figure out what to do here because something, something is like they're not, they're not. Th those are, those are, those are smallmouth, dude. I'm just telling you, carp don't three. <laughs> I mean, they just went up like this, and the minute they figured out it was a drop shot, they just leave. I mean, I've seen fish get picky before, and I'm not 100 percent sure they're smallmouth. I'm just not, but. They're some type of game fish, and the reason I know that is because they're 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 going to the bait. They're going up and looking at it, going down. They're, they're wanting to eat it, but they're not. So whether they're walleye, whether they're smallmouth, I mean it can only be walleye or smallmouth. If it's a, like a rock bass, it was going to eat it. It's. It, I really honestly think it's all smallmouth. I don't know why they're being picky. I does, I'm a little confused right now. I threw the little rattle the net on them. They looked at that and went away over pretty quick. A swim bait, maybe? You know, you just got to keep rolling through. Like, there's something that's going to trigger those fish to bite. And I had not quite figured out what that is yet. But there is an adjustment that I need to make. We're running through the process. Drop shot suspended. Ned rig's on the bottom. Both of those are sitting still. I need to put a swim bait on here in a minute. Probably try that and see if they react to that. So... Look, look, coming up, he's coming up, he's following it down, following it down. Got it. So I made a little adjustment here. It's not a big one, but at least we got a, got one of them to bite, you know. Three pounder. All right, so that was a little uh, little adjustment, a little rattling Ned on them. Got back to where, this is actually where I saw the six or seven swimming around shallow in about 12 to 15. First one I saw, I threw at it, did exactly like he did on the drop shot, so they didn't eat the drop shot, they ate the net on the bottom. So maybe that's an adjustment. And that confirms that there's some fish up this shallow, so it's good. All right. I am officially addicted to bait pop. It's like, the more I use it, the more I'm just like, really? This is pretty freaking sweet, dude. Scent, fish formula, okay? This right here is crayfish, which is awesome for a Ned. Number two, it has sonar and intensifier in it, some patented stuff that they got going on, okay? Makes the bait show up a lot better on sonar. And number three, look at that, copper flake. It's already bait. It already has some copper flake in it. Look at that. Guys, it's real thick. It stays on there good. You don't have to apply it every every five seconds. It does wash off, but that's the beauty of it. These little scales come off. But look at that. Sparkle scales. 
when you go to the link in the description, be sure to get the, the copper, the crayfish copper. I do silver. Let's see, I've got one in my pocket here. This is from Champlain. The silver. I use it from a swim bait. And I was using this one for my Neds. Smallmouth love copper. Largemouth do too. So anything on the bottom, I like the copper. Bait fish stuff. I like the silver. Anyways, enough of that. But those are my two. Probably number one and number two. And then they have a green flake one that I like the best too. So anyways, enough of that. It's the real deal. It's awesome. Got him. That's a there's a fish. There's a fish. I don't think he's a no, he's just a three. Just a three pounder. Three fifty. Doesn't count. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, buddy. I like that Ned Rig bite. That's kind of fun. Hmm, he thumped it. There he goes. Oh, big one just went to it. I think he just got it. Oh, he thumped it again. Interesting. Got him. Better. Better fish right here. There's a bunch out here. Three something. Okay, bye. Bye bye. Way too many weights, dude. I'm out here. If I catch me another fish, this one's over four, I think. If I catch me another couple big ones out here, I'm gonna leave just because it's, uh, you know, it's an area. If I gotta come here, I just gotta come here. There's hundreds of them out here, dude. Yeah, for sure. I got me a first, first fish of the day. Yeah, that's a big one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's over four, dude. This is, might be a, like a, this one, this one's big. All right, what do you think, Canberry? Give me a, give me a, give me a, what do you think it weighs? Four six. I'm going to say this one's four and three quarters. I'm going to say it's a four twelve. Oh God, that's a big one. I think it's, I think it's big, dude. I mean, you ought to know it's big. It's in your hand. 
I, I got a funny feeling it might be a 412. Oh gosh, dude, no. Five, five. That's bona fide bacon, dude. That's a fatty. Dude, that's a five, four, bro. On the scrimp. On a dang scrimp. Let me, let me keep poking around for a minute. I mean, there's so many of them, dude. If they start biting, I think you, you know, now I think they're just mixed in. And they're all back, like every mark, every mark I see is a bass because they all, every mark goes to my bait. So guys, we're way out in the lake now on some of these outside islands. I probably won't be able to fish out here on day one, but obviously if I can make it to the finals or, you know, it's supposed to get real nice Saturday and Sunday. So you gotta have some stuff like this, I think. I mean, I might, you know, maybe be able to catch five, 20 big ones off that spot. I mean, there's, I'll say this, there's 20 big ones on that spot. 100% there's 20 big ones on that spot. The problem is, there's other people gonna find it and it's just hard to get a lot of them to bite. So, I don't know. I, th I think I gotta have a lot more to have a shot at this thing. But at least, I do have potential of a spot that I think you can catch mid-20s a day. Caught a 5.4 and a 4 and 3 quarters that averages 5 pounds a piece. So I do that three more times, that's 25 pound bag. And there, it, it just there's definitely more four and a half and five and a half pound fish down there. I could tell by the scope. I could tell by the, how they look. And so, you know, maybe maybe we'll pray a little protection. We'll pray a little protection over that spot. Maybe we can get lucky and have it to ourselves. But most likely, these guys find everything. They're the best of the best. You just. If it's a good spot, somebody finds it. We found some. At least. Oh boy. Yep. There he is. Feels big, but I don't know. I just don't know. Oh, he's not. I mean, he's a three pounder. It's ridiculous. Come all the way out here, 37 feet of water, such a three pounder. Not even three. Four or something. Four or something. Uh, I had you. <sighs> it's four or something. Four and a quarter. Uh, oh, I got a. Hang on. Yeah. I didn't mean to catch him. I troll muttered a little farther away. It's a little one, though. I don't think it's a big one. Yeah, it's little. It's little. Little. Two and a half pounder. Actually, I've caught three out here. One was. One was. Uh, Probably three, two and a half, or three, and this one was two and a half, and the other one was four and a quarter. That sucks. We come all the way out here, somebody's sitting on it. Uh, I got one going down on it. Huh. 
I had a I had a an individual fish out here. It went down on it and it bit it. Let's see what he is. It might be big. Uh yeah, four or something. It was just swimming around out here doing nothing by itself. Yeah. I mean I'm I'm real close to my spot still, but I mean I'm not dead on it. Hundred yards away. Uh, that's probably a, definitely a four or something. Uh, I don't know. He's four. I bet he's four and a half, four and three quarter. Yeah, he's four, like four and a half. Uh, okay. All right, so we got a few more hours to go. Just caught those nice four pounders over there on that little hump. 37 foot of water, drop shot. I need to find a couple more little places like that. There's another little hump a little farther out in the lake. You know, here's the deal. I, I won't be able to fish these places, I don't think, on day one. Uh, but it's a four day event, hopefully, for me. So it's good to have some places. If it's dead slick calm, you can run out here fast, crack them up real quick, and then move on. So. You know, that's the deal. Tomorrow is my last day of practice. I have to figure out what to do. I'm going to look at the map tonight and kind of figure it out. But today, so far, it's not been bad. You know, finding a place that has well over four pounders, you know, some fives, that's a big deal. That's a big deal. Um, and then a couple places that have some solid four, four and a halves, it's okay. But I think it's going to take, I think it's going to take over 100 pounds. Just based on the on the weather, uh, the conditions are going to be pretty, pretty darn good for the, for the tournament. So, extremely hard tournament to win uh, just because the local knowledge here Cooper Gallant the Johnsons a bunch of the guys that have fished here over the years you know this is a tough one so I need to find something special hopefully today what I found is special it's special to me for sure hopefully I can find another couple places uh, the rest of the day today and tomorrow I'll find a handful of some really good places that I can bust up some over 20s over 25s that's what we need we need 26 27 pound bags guys that sounds crazy doesn't it Harry Pepsi, it's delicious. We have gifts. Tiger Warehouse. I'm gonna have to get some good rain boots, dude. Some ones that. Get some AFCO. Huh? Get the new AFCO. I, I, you, I, yeah, hey AFCO, if you're watching, send me some boots, please. <laughs> be awesome to have some nice boots. But what is that? Nothing. <laughs> what? Why would you do that? You roll up in here with Chick Fil A. I mean, that was—he just hasn't eaten it for like four hours. So I didn't get it till eight o'clock. I heard you gonna get home till eight. I know. Walmart was Walmart was a mess. Huh? They had one cash register and there was like Walmart. seven people in the. Yeah. I mean, it's thirty minutes there. I went to the gym and then I went to Walmart. Thirty to forty-five minutes in Walmart and then thirty minutes to wait in line. I'm on a nap before you left. I didn't take a nap today. Like you need. 42 foot. You need your big boat. I know. You need the Freeman. Yeah. And vice versa. I wonder how rough it'd be once it'd I be get a rough over there. ride with vice versa. <laughs> I wonder how um, rough it'd be out there. I mean, I'm probably three miles from shore, but at least it's not 100 miles of lake. <coughs> Y'all check a bunch of stuff at the mouths of these bays when you come out of the lake come out of the river and go left? No, not really. I, that's where I fished. That's where I went. You didn't call, find any? Call a 13 incher. I'm going to spend the next 30 to 45 minutes looking at the aerials. Got Google Earth pulled up. I'm trying to find like some shallow little rock ridges and some grass slides and stuff over on this Canadian side. Take a chatterbait tomorrow. Get shallow a little bit. See what we can pull off. I don't know. Last day of practice, we're going to have to watch this weather. I won't be able to go to over this side for sure on day one, but, you know, maybe I can go there on day two. I, I don't know. I need to take in consideration trying to find something out of the wind because if they do blast us off, which is likely, I need to have something that I can fish. I don't know if I can make it all the way where I caught the fish today or not. Probably can't, but we'll try.
All right, current situation, day two of practice. We only get two days. I don't know if I clarified that yesterday, but you know, we, we had a day shortened because of uh, weather, Champlain. So they decided to cut this event short, which I was not in favor of. They cut us to three days of practice. And um, I think it's the biggest, biggest term of the year, most important term of the year biggest venue of the year and I think most complicated of the year is because there's so many local factors here with the Johnsons and Cooper and a handful of other guys that really know this place well it takes a lot of time to find something special here and then you've got the wind and the weather to deal with here on this place so you need three days you really need like a week but nevertheless three days would have been nice but but it is what it is. We've got two days of practice. Today is the last day. I did find some good stuff yesterday, so at least I have one area that has potential. But um, I've got to find something better today. I mean, I really do. I mean, I'll look at the weights. It's a hundred. It's a hundred pound lake now. It just is. It's going to take a hundred pounds. And can I catch a hundred pounds? Where I, with what I found yesterday, the one spot has potential. My other spot does not have potential. It's just four or four and a half pounders. So that's not going to do you any good except get you a check. Um, checks are nice. Obviously shooting for a check, but we got to let it all hang out here. We got to try to pull off something special. So today I want to run to the other side of the lake, fish all new water, some places I've never fished before. I spent some time last night looking at Google Earth, trying to get an idea of kind of how things look over there. Let's go see what we can find, you know. Um, just look at the map, read the map, get on the troll motor, start fishing. That's basically what you have to do here. But the key, again, is finding four and a half and five pound fish. And that's what we have to find. Talking about, about weather and stuff. So there's an app. There's apps on, I got a lot of apps actually. But there's one app that I've been using a lot lately, and it's really cool. I want to tell you about it. It's called Bass Forecast. Bass Forecast is a multifaceted app, okay? It has the weather, so it has like Clewiston, it has Chazy River, which was Champlain, it has New Baltimore, which is at Detroit, and it's where I had all that, and then an hour in Clayton. You can click that right there, boom. It's gonna tell you things like barometric pressure, it's gonna tell you things about the wind, uh, it's gonna tell you things about uh, what baits to maybe use. So if you're new to an area, what's great about it, you pull up to a place to say it's a lake which you've never been to before, Pull up the bass forecast. You can look at the weather. You can see what's going on with the barometric pressure. You can see when the minor and the major feed times are. But you can also get a good idea of maybe some ideas on some lures to fish with. Um, the weather is what I use it for the most, and I like to use it. I kind of know what I'm going to use for lures. For me, I'm a professional, obviously, but I like looking at it just because it makes me think. Like it said, soft jerk bait yesterday, and I'm like, you know what? I don't have that tied on. I had everything else tied on, but I didn't have a soft jerk bait. And that might be something I need to try, you know. So it kind of makes me think about things a little bit, which is good. But the weather forecast for me is awesome. And it also shows the past seven days. So you can get a past weather report, which is important. And here's the best part about the whole thing. So here's the app right here. We put on the tailgate of the truck. Number one fishing app in the USA. Okay, millions of people have downloaded this. Everybody loves Tackle Warehouse, guys. Everybody loves $20. Get a $20 gift code when you join Pro. $20 gift code when you join Pro. So basically this is gonna end up being free and you're gonna get a whole bunch of cool tackle. So check out the link in the description guys, Bass Forecast. Um, seriously, go check it out. It's a great little app. You can use it on all different lakes. You can set your favorite ones and you're good to go. Information is key a lot of times to catching a few extra fish. So good stuff here. So now it's a hunt and look. 
deal. I'm trying to find something that's out of the wind over here that if I have to fish over here because it's just completely awful, I can at least fish. That's kind of the thought process here. And you can all, oh, there's a good one right there. So just got the phone man, he caught a five pounder and Canterbury's up the river catching them on a chatter bait. He's had about 19 pounds, which if I'm gonna win this tournament, I can't have a 19 pound bag. 19 pound bag won't, won't, I can't carry and win the tournament. I have to go for it, whether I wear that zero or not, I gotta go for it. I gotta find biggins. A lot of fish. Okay. I didn't really want to catch him, but goodness gracious, he kind of had to. Don't think he's. Oh, he's a big one. Three of them there. These bit. It's a four pounder or something. Oh yeah, real big one. Might be a five. Might be a five pounder. A meaningful one. Yeah, it's a big fish, dude. And that's what was here. That's what was here. Thank you, Lord. Sorry I had to sacrifice this one, but I had to. I literally had to, guys. That's a five pounder, I think. Yep. Okay. Thank you, dude. Thank you. Thank you. I don't even know what to say right now. But I need five bites tomorrow in here. I need five bites. Glad you didn't come along for this this enjoyable day. <laughs> Catch a bunch of fish? Yeah, my average bite. My average bite was five pounds today. Right. Place is good. Place is fishing great. How many fish did you catch? Oh, only one. Just one. <laughs> Dude, this was like the twilight zone. And you know, I think I think the problem is like where I where I thought I could catch them. I, th I think it's that wind is pushing water out of that bay. And that water's kind of weird color. It's not a good lake color. So I'm not sure they're going to show up tomorrow or not. What's up? Man, there's a lot of smoke in here. 
There was more, but... What happened? There was just grease in the bottom of the oven. Oh, yeah? Like from the last person. Guess what I got for the boys tonight? We're going to do this tonight. They're going to do 40% the... 40% chance. I don't do it. Oh, yeah? Okay. Or the camera guy's going to do it. Well, we can, I'd love to get Matt to do it. That's the deal tonight. Right there. Be the highlight of my day. My average bite, my average bite today was five pounds. That big. They got some salt on it. What'd you catch today? They got some salt. What is it? Pink salt and bacon. Bacon? Yeah. Pink salt Listen, I salted the asparagus with oil, like I mixed, I mixed it with yeah. oil and, and, and the stuff. Yeah. And then after I put the bacon on, I decided to sprinkle some more on it. And I think I'm going to <laughs> And then the bacon was too thick, so the asparagus kind of dried out by the time oh, the bacon was good. cooked. I had about 20 pounds. Huh? On the river? Yep. I caught, caught quite a few, just didn't catch no big ones, so I'm on a, I don't know, <laughs> it ain't easy this time around. I had a, uh, a kid in high school last, last week of, Suck on this after last week of junior year, he was coming around with Carolina Reaper like dried flakes, yeah. and, he, and he, he got me to eat one, and I rubbed my eye and couldn't see for three days, they had to carry me down to the nurse, and my mom had to pick me up. What? Yeah. McCoy. Hold on, I'm, I, I gotta. I'm just trying All right, tomorrow night we gotta eat that walleye. It ain't gonna be no good if we don't go ahead and eat it. All right, these aren't the hot ones though, for real, because they, they didn't they didn't have the hottest ones. That's the hot one. How do you hot. know? It these are hot, but these aren't the hottest. It says ones. Carolina Reaper. No, but they've got the other one that's the double viper pepper. pepper. I know, but this is not the hottest one. <laughs> the hottest right, one. It's, still hot. huh? it's hot. Seek, <laughs> seek <laughs> medical assistance. So, Should you? I might get a glass of milk. Breathing. So yeah. am I allowed to like really? drink milk or what's the plan? Just yeah, not for the, five minutes. Shit first. Five minutes? Yeah. All right. Who, whoever whoever <laughs> can not drink milk. <laughs> he can't drink That's our milk anyway because he's lactose intolerant. He's just probably really? drink water. Swift, yeah. Swift strike to the mouth. Are they like five dollars or seven dollars or something? I think I think they are. They're like twenty. One chip. But they look at the box. I don't know if I'm ready for this. God. Dude, you're meeping. You're paying for the box is what you're paying for. All right. So look. I've had that. Mark's has got a glide bait and a what's wooden box. How many? See, that's the hottest one. What's the no, no, Scoville no, no. rating? This is not. This, Did is you know? this is the medium one. Oh, mine didn't open. Don't have to eat it. Oh. All right. It's, 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 you got to chew it up, though. It's really good. Oh, I'm yeah. Like, by the way, that, that, that is important to chew it up good. So. Oh, my God. We'll start the timer. That doesn't even look Dude, that looks like black it? death. <laughs> I don't want to get it on my lips. Okay. Ready? Did you not eat it? Here. Eat it. Here, we'll just start it right now. Piece. Start it right now. Go, I just raised it to my go tongue ahead. and touched it on my tongue. Go ahead. Dude. Five minutes. Not go, good. Go, go. You can't taste it. Just eat the damn thing. It's it's Dude, not that bad. That's not the hot one. Oh my god. It's not the hot one. Hey, seriously, don't swallow it. Chew it up good. If I'd have got the hot one, it would have really got you good. <laughs> Show that timer. Hit that start. It's I did. Started. I did. I hit the timer. Is it hot? This is gonna be a that bad. That's not the hot one, dude. The hot one would have got them and they were all out. They didn't even think nothing about it. I know. I'm good. Let's go walk See? No reaction. It's not that bad. Zero. It's not that bad. I told you it wasn't the hot one. If you tell yourself it's not that bad, it's not that bad. It's all mental. I'm more of a money back. His hands red. Yeah. Is he having trouble breathing? He's, he's having fingers, trouble breathing. The <laughs> when I ate yeah, I licked, the, I licked the dust off my fingers and everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> what? It don't even bother him. No, it's fine. I had to drink, dude. I'm gonna... Is it mess your stomach up? <sighs> oh my god. Okay. <laughs> what? It's it's like steaming out of my ears right now and like. <laughs> My tongue, not. Dude, it's bad. I know, but. Hey, he changed. He's good, man. I, I thought he didn't bother him. It, I mean, I'm good, but, like, I'm good. <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> Dude, it feels like there's death crawling out of my ears. <laughs> that is so bad. 
you standing? I gotta get that milk right. <laughs> he just spit all over the floor. What's he doing? I'm getting that milk glass ready because when that thing goes off. Oh my gosh, he's gonna win the chip challenge. Whoa. Oh, McCoy's already. Did he already drink water? Oh. He's drinking juice. He's been chugging this. That's a loss. I don't know. I think it is. I don't give a crap. <laughs> <laughs> it helps for like a second. <laughs> Just hold it in your mouth. Oh my gosh. How long are y'all supposed to be waiting? Two minutes and 30 minutes? seconds. The other thing, it ain't bothering me much. I mean, it, it hurts, but I'm. What am I gonna do about it? I'm just gonna deal with it. You alright? I mean, complaining isn't gonna make it go away. <laughs> it's real, huh? Just ride it out. Uh uh. Oh my gosh. Two minutes and five well, seconds. Second bite McCoy, drink, eat it. That he is tore up. He can't breathe. He said medical attention if they can't breathe. It'll be good, clear. You're not allergic to hot food, McCoy, right? His eyes are red. Dude, I'm in, I'm in pain too, dude. You just gotta tell yourself that it doesn't matter. That's all you gotta do. Just mentally tell yourself. But I think I get that from doing my long hikes. Like, I know how to just take the pain away. Like, just, just get rid of it. Like, I don't even... Just delete it. Oh, just delete it. Yeah. Oh, just delete it. Just delete it. Proud of you, McCoy. He turned red, like, pretty quick. He ain't said a word. He spit on the floor some. Oh, my gosh. <coughs> I'm ready for this milk. Y'all do, are doing way better than I thought, actually. Yeah. Well, the other day is... <coughs> Oh, it hurts. I mean, it's, what else no, it's definitely hurting. Right? It hurts. It doesn't feel good in your stomach either. Really? Like it's, it's like boiling in there. Really? Yeah. I think you should have chewed it up a little longer. Oh, I chewed it up. Wow. That's pretty good. It, it would have been bad if it had got some hot ones. You shit. <laughs> it's getting worse. It's getting worse. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. My voice was shaking. Is he shaking? Look at him shaking his head. Oh my gosh. I mean, you better take it. I will, like, like, I can what tune it out for a minute, nice. but I got I gotta live like this for like two hours, probably. But I mean, it's. Me. How long does it last? Probably a couple hours. Woo, wait till tomorrow when you go to the number two. It's gonna come out hot. Oh my gosh. You alright? No. He, he didn't even eat his whole ah. chip. He left, he left a corner of his chip right there. He you won. You couldn't pay me. You're the, you're the winner. Dylan is the winner. You Here's can't drink trophy. milk? Here's your trophy. <laughs> what if you just put the milk in your mouth and spit the milk out? Yeah. Hey, so the one that turns your tongue blue, what color y'all Okay, so the one, the, the one that everybody does. Those, those, these guys oh, on TikTok. You guys on TikTok and do the hot the hot pepper challenges. And the biggest thing is when they eat it and they look at the camera and they go, no. Dude, his lips are swollen. Are they swollen? He's doing like the duck lip, just like standing normal. <laughs> this is the this is the deal McCoy. McCoy. McCoy's, McCoy's bad shape, dude. Let me see your lips. <gasps> I think it's funny. You gotta I, get him, dude. I love hot stuff, but I would never do anything like that. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> It's pretty hot. Like, I mean, I'm just thinking about the fact Dude, that... your lips are swollen. <sighs> like, how do you, how do you manage... Is it that bad before? still? You'll never do that again. We need to go get some fair life milk. Or ice cream with, like, dairy-free or whatever. Yeah. You could eat on. Keep that milk in your mouth. I think it'd help. <laughs> oh, my gosh. She survived. He made it. Say, bean don't burn on the grill. Uh, <laughs> is it still getting you? We're going to put it take him to the damn hospital. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Well, like, the second I stop drinking this milk, like, I got to be sipping really slow on milk, like, for the next two hours. Oh, my God. All right. We're next, uh, next up is hospital. Call 911. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> See him. What is it? Thank you. He'll freak himself out. 
You cold? <laughs> I can't drink uh, any more. I can't drink any more water. Yeah, I'm getting full too. I don't want to puke. You don't want to? But I need to keep it in my mouth. I don't know that that thing might burn us back. We might have good. to just hold our lips like in the, the sink with some water, like underwater for like an hour. Alright. I'm ready for bed. I'm trying to sleep. That chip put me into a very dark place. It did it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like I was in a dark place for a little while as yeah. well, but I, I handled it a little devil. bit. It's from the devil, isn't it? Is that what Pocky means? I think what so. Does Pocky I mean? think it means devil. Yeah, yeah devil dude. The that devil sucks. chip. I've only caught like five fish in that area. I've caught a couple three and a halves, a four twelve. Couple three and a half, a four twelve, and two over five. The problem is, I got to, uh, I'm having a hard time visualizing four days. But if they show up like they did the other yesterday, I keep thinking the other day it was yesterday. If they show up like they did yesterday, there's a couple hundred fish there. So sorry, today's practice, guys, was a little uh, uh, janky. I should, I should say, but you know, some days are like that. I eliminate a lot of water, and I reinforce a few things that I already knew. So. That being said, time for bed. Uh, vi next video, very next video is gonna you're gonna see how this all unfolds. We're gonna put a camera with Canterbury, a camera with me, and we're gonna we're gonna sling it. We're gonna send it full speed ahead, guys. And uh, so thank you so much for watching all of our videos. Last, this will be our last uh, blast off for the year, right here. So thanks for watching and get ready for the next video coming down the pipe. We'll see you guys. Good night. Boom.